This is too good. I win, you fool. No more loudmouth. Margin Boo wins. Ha ha ha. I did it. Well, not so much, Boo. In fact, well, Vegeta and Goku are still alive. This was a triumph. Anyways, what actually happened was Vegito uh, raised a barrier so that he would not be completely absorbed by Majin Buu. Wow, this doesn't get any more disgusting than this. At least the barrier held up. Buu wasn't able to totally absorb me. I just realized Vegito sounds like Lance. Whatever. Okay, so now we're Vegito in the stomach. The others are still in here. I can feel it. But where? Whoa! They just, they just split up. How, how can that happen? I thought that was impossible. I I don't get it. Our bodies separated when we let the barrier down. I was I was told that once we were joined by the earrings, we could never separate. I don't think he's ever explained why they were able to separate. Because apparently uh, with Porta earrings, you are never able to separate. And I'm just going to close my window real quick here. So there are no interruptions, because I plan on finishing the game in this uh, one recording session. So, yeah. Anyways. I guess we lucked out. I I'm me and you're you. That's the way I like it. Whoa, Vegeta just destroyed the port of earring. What'd you do that for? We could have used the earrings again. I like being captain of my own ship better. Journal entry, find Gohan, Goten, Trunks, and Piccolo. Alright, so now we we can control uh, individually Vegeta and Goku. And make it through this. So, now we are in Boo's stomach. So, oh, other than that being gross? Uh, well, there's really nothing other than that being gross. It's just gross. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, then. Now Vegeta is tricked out, we can move forth as Super Saiyans. You can see there's a bunch of candy and stuff in Boo's stomach, which makes sense because he's Boo. He's been eating candy this whole time. There's Jawbreakers because he apparently eats Jawbreakers whole. There's chunks of chocolate. There's... I don't know what the hell that is supposed to be. A wrapper, maybe? I, I don't know. I'm going to go with a wrapper. Ooh, uh, these are Boo's blood cells. 3,085 hit points, 55 strength, 0 power, 35 endurance. The blood cells in Blue's in Blue! The blood cells in Boo's Im immune system don't like intruders. So yes, they're not really that hard to dispatch. They kind of ignored me, but okay. Uh, but we will be seeing a few new enemies in here. See? Not that difficult, considering how strong Vegeta is now. I mean, we got, him, we got Vegeta up to level 140. He's not really supposed to be that strong right now. Wow, Goten and Trunks are weak, but we don't really need to use them for the rest of the game. The rest of the game is pretty much just going to be played with Vegeta and Goku. That's about it. Okay, uh, this thing. Enzyme, 2,101 hit points, 25 strength, 0 power, 25 endurance. Enzymes assist in Boo's di digestion. Alright, and this is a blister. Uh, or as I will sometimes refer to it as a pustule, because that is a more disgusting word. 18,530 hit points, 0 strength, 0 power, 75 endurance. This pustule creates enzymes. So yeah, uh, the pustules will just like make these enzymes which will attack to you, attach to you, why am I no words, and they'll hit you continuously, but you can punch the hell out of them. So it's really no big deal. This is a door that we cannot go through yet, but we need... It's, it's a lot like um, Bobby's ship which is weird. We have to go through find switches which are which look like like brain nerves, but they're switches. And then destroy them and we can make it through the doors that cuz doors will open. Yeah, as you can see, like Vegeta's endurance is so high that these stupid enzymes are not doing anything. The only reason I'm leveling up on this of this weak crap is because I've got so much uh so much uh, experience boosting stuff on me. Alright, and this is one of the nerves. I cannot scan it. Alright, just gotta beat it up, and boom. 
Now that opens. Huzzah! Okay, now we can move forth. There's just some blood cells. Ah, three course meal. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we're going to need some food if we're going to be facing some of these more difficult things. Although this is like the end of the game. Like this is we're getting close to the end game stuff. We're not at end game stuff yet, but we're getting close. So I, I may I may uh, get a little more uh, liberal with my senzu beans. Ooh, what be this? Uh, this is crystal gauntlets, which I do not have a required level for. They're pretty powerful, but I can't use them, so whatever. Um, <laughs> words escape me. Anyways, uh, well, I cannot think of anything to say. I'm like the a deer in the headlights here. Wait, yeah, I'm supposed. To, pretty sure we're supposed to go this way. Anyways, um, there. If you didn't see up there, there was a door, and I believe we need to find some more nerves to destroy these pustules here. And kill the enzymes. There's not really all that much to talk about in here. Oh, um, let's see. Uh, recently I've been playing uh, Dragon Ball Z: uh, the, the Raging Blast 2. Yeah, I got it for the Xbox. See what happened? It was um, I decided I needed another a new game to play because I've been bored this summer. And and um, I went to GameStop and I tried to get a oh these things. These things are annoying as hell. Wormhead, 7,238 HP, 35 strength, 0 power, 58 endurance. These worms live inside Boo's digestive system. And the worm body, 5,100, the same thing, pretty much. But the annoying thing about these things is that when you punch them, they separate. And uh, they, they completely cheese you. I guess I'll save. Yeah, these things cheese the hell out of you. That, see? I do not like them, so I will be getting rid of them. Oh, apparently I needed to go the other way. All right. Anyways, uh, I got Raging Blast 2 because when I went to GameStop I wanted to get a new game and uh, I picked up, I decided to finally start playing uh, God of War. Even though I don't have a PS3 so I couldn't really finish the series, I still wanted to try God of War. Uh, but unfortunately the copies I picked up they were relatively cheap but I picked up uh, the first and second game and, well, when I booted them up, my, my PS2 would not read them. Uh, so I went back and returned them. Just gonna wipe out all of these with Final Flash. Yeah, because there's a whole bunch of them, so I'm just gonna wipe these out. In one fell swoop. And so I went back and uh, swapped them out for some different copies. And, uh, so I went back home and booted them up and I decided to do uh, two first because I was going to play one first and two would not start up uh, so I tried to boot up one it wouldn't start up either so I went back there and eventually uh, I just at this point I didn't really want to take a bunch of trips back because we looked through all of the copies they had and those appeared to be the two uh, in best condition so I I just uh, tur turned them in for store credit and uh, you use the combined money from two of them, which was like fifteen dollars, to get ooh, the intestine. This place is a total shithole. Ha <laughs> ha! I made a fun. I made a funny. Anyways, uh, I use the combined uh, thing from both of them to uh, buy Raging Blast 2. And Raging Blast 2, it's pretty fun. It can be a little difficult at times. Like there's some of these bullshit missions where you have to, um, like beat an opponent with wet pretty much one HP. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. How much is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. We're, we're, we're near death, and if they just get one stray energy blast on you, then you're totally dead. You pretty much just have to cheese them with your ultimate move uh, over and over until they die. But, ooh, a wetsuit. That will, um, that helps us get more fish, but we're way beyond fishing at this point. Hey, it, it's Goten and Trunks. Anyways, it's a good, it's a good game though, so far. Hey boys, you're alive and well. Let's get you out of here. The sooner the better. Huh? They're fusing. What the? Whoa! 
they, they fuse into Gotenks. Okay, you cannot actually scan Gotenks here. It's, uh, well, you'll see why in a minute. Uh, but I'm almost at a Super Saiyan. I better cheese this guy quick. Yeah, you gotta beat the crap out of your own son, or, well, half son, I guess. Because half is Goku son. Why did I say it? Him. Alright. Gonna power it down so I can power back up later. And here are the real Goten and Trunks. In the actual anime, they find them at the end uh, all together, but we find them gradually. We don't pick them up or anything, we just kind of leave them here, and then later we magically have them. Gohan, is that you? Wait, I tell by the look at your eyes, you're not Gohan. You're a fake. Doesn't really make sense for Vegeta to say that. He would have said something different, but... Well, uh, Vegeta and... If you come with here with Vegeta, either Vegeta or Goku, they share these lines. So, there is that. Alright, so... Final Flash! I'll be able to turn into Super Saiyan. Once I'm done cheesing him... Will I ever be done cheesing? <laughs> the answer is no. Cheesing forever! Alright, come up here, and hopefully I've got enough time to go Super Saiyan. Uh, oh yeah, just barely enough. Okay, now we can take care of Gohan. And he is done. Done like dinner. And Gohan is down now. So let's move on and find the Gohan pod. Blah, 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 whatever. Let me guess. Another fake? You're going down. Now that's more, more Vegeta-ish. Now you, as you can see, there's actually a lot of unused um, Piccolo, uh, Piccolo battle sprites here. I mean, he can block, he can punch. I believe he uses a special beam cannon at some point. Well, I believe he can, but well, you did see him use it uh, when we were fighting Boo. Can we? Yeah, we can scan Piccolo. Piccolo, HP 1300 f or 13,149. Uh, strength 63, power 70, endurance 75. He's still power based, just like the last game. Once an evil villain, Piccolo has seen the error of his ways and is now one of Earth's greatest heroes. Piccolo is an alien from the planet Namek. Alright. So, he is. Yeah, there's a lot of unused uh, battle sprites. I mean, he had enough sprites that he could have actually been a character, probably. Like, in the main game, but. Well, if you think about it, in. During the Majin Buu saga, go, uh, Piccolo didn't really do much, if you think about it. Alright, and he also was a death uh, one here, which I believe might be reused in the last game. But they had a few custom sprites for him, like the, that knockback sprite was new. And then here's Piccolo, the source of uh, Buu's intelligence. <laughs> Buu's intelligence, that's funny. Alright, uh, so let's move on. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, I'm going to end an episode here. So, uh, we got we got through Boo, and now we can move on and do other things. So, this is me, Thrasho2, saying be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't.